The amphibious assault ship caught fire and was critically damaged in July of 2020, sending plumes of dark black smoke into the San Diego sky for days. CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes is on the story for us tonight and joins us now with the details. Kirsten. Hey there, Marcella and Carlo. The Navy released this report on the fire on the USS Bonham Richard, and they cited a lack of training, a lack of fire prevention, readiness, and even confusion over who was in charge of the ship at the time of the fire. This uh, fire was just a tremendous uh, embarrassment for the uh, Navy. The, uh, the Bonhomme Richard uh, was going through a two-year overhaul in, uh, in San Diego when this uh, uh, fire broke out, and it uh, burned uh, for five days on national television. CBS News Pentagon correspondent David Martin says 27 people received some form of disciplinary action after the import fire which destroyed the USS Bonhomme Richard. Failures from top to bottom, uh, starting with the, uh, uh, the uh, admirals who oversaw the fleet, down to obviously the captain who uh, commanded the ship, but even down to uh, uh, sailors who uh, fought the fire. There was uh, inadequate uh, fire prevention to begin with, and uh, then the uh, firefighting effort, uh, once the fire broke out, was uh, showed that the, the crew was just uh, poorly trained and, and not ready to fight a fire. The cost of fixing the ship after the fire, $3 billion. The fire did so much destruction to that ship. Uh, that the Navy ultimately just decided to sell it for scrap. The 27 disciplinary actions for the USS Bonhomme Richard are separate from the criminal case brought against the seaman who was accused of setting the fire. Martin says their punishment ranged from career suffocating marks in their records for higher ranking officials to restricted uh, to your quarters. You can be fined with non judicial punishment, but you're not going to uh, go to a court martial. You're not going to. Uh, be imprisoned or anyway uh, lose your liberty. Officials say the confusion in the early hours of the fire meant that sailors may have missed a small window of opportunity to actually contain that fire to the storage area. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you.